trying with the initial draws. That's, that's Mulligan. Not no. That's not a key. Did I see any ice there? Were there any no. ice? I saw Nietzsche. Uh, was there any? Okay, okay. well, no, that's not, not, not a key. It's not a key. That one bad pop out from the Nietzsche trace. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't, but you can't forget about it because, you know, you can spend, sometimes you can spend a credit and just give them a brain. Uh, I mean, sometimes you don't need to do that. Sometimes you might just be Some, very focused on winning the game instead of like giving people damage. So yeah, it's true. Sometimes you might be able to have you might be able to score on exactly enough money to reach zero and score on exactly. Have exactly Sometimes enough going money. to zero is pretty magnificent. Wouldn't you say? I would say so. Yeah. 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 Sometimes like biotic four advancements to zero might yeah. win you the game. Yeah. Sometimes I would say that. <laughs> um, Andre actually seems to have a one piece of hand ice in his hand. He has a hedge fund. A and a, a toll, toll booth. booth. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, whatever works. Oh wait, no, that's a nigga. Oh, oh sorry. No. Two pieces of ice. Oh, wait. Actually, standard opening. Never mind. Not too bad. Can can res both, but I don't know. I don't see him, you know, doing a lot of face checking. Yeah. So Alex's hand. He has a Faust. That's Ooh. really good. He has a starting. He's got a Faust, a mimic, and a yog. The looks singleton like. Faust. Uh, the problem is, oh, yeah. in this kind of Was deck, it? it's difficult to start pitching okay. things. Okay. Maybe I miss. I didn't see that correctly. Yeah, I think that's either... He has a lot of breakers. He has, every, he has the money, he has the breakers he needs. This is, this is not bad. He can actually yeah. certainly be a little bit aggressive early on. Problem is, he doesn't... Oh, like... Does he already have Rebirth, too? That must be a really good... Okay, so wow, okay. in this, if I was Alex, I would actually be more inclined to Rebirth into Kim rather than Wizard itself. Byro uh, sorry, Biotic Labor is a really important hit in this thing. Very yeah. good hit. Uh, lateral growth is also not bad right. to hit it either. Yeah. There, there's a lot of operations. Yeah. I mean, cat's all is a bit of a consideration uh, because you've got a lot of carriers just keeping you out, and they're all none of them are multi subroutine except for Eli. Um, and already using a Jackson second turn. But but Pretty yes, Eddie Kim is probably is probably the play here. Mm -hmm. um, and again, they did play previously, so he knows that it's not a big. He knows that it's not food codes. He knows that he needs to hit. The uh, operation. Yeah. So Andre, I saw a Chrisium in his hand. Uh, am I right to? Yeah, yeah I did see a Chrisium in his hand. Looking at Alex. So you can use the Chrisium to do help reduce the medium and Temujins in terms of value. Yeah, also, that is our And taking two more hits off the uh, Liberty contract. Alright, so it looks like we have. Liberty Enigma. count, rather. Jenna in hand, so we're gonna be drawing here. And that's Ichi. So we've got double Ichi, we've got CVS, we've got Biotic, we've got the Arkham Memories. And Vitruvius? Yeah, got a Vitruvius. Now, not not the best agenda to obviously Biotic out right now. It's definitely not the one you want. <laughs> you, sometimes you want to score those ABTs and uh, build yourself two more agendas. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. He's building a remote. He's gotta push it. Okay, so he's gonna take his chance. You can see if Alex is, has the breakers or is willing to block him into it. Because it's true that Alex has has a lot of the breakers he needs, but he doesn't have blackmail yet. He hasn't done a lot of drawing either. Mm -hmm. um, is he running? So I'm not sure. Do, do we know what the remote ice is? The remote ice is Enigma. Enigma. All right. So a uh, a post would do fine. Yeah. Post would be fine. Did he have a in hand? He does not have Yogg in uh, that breaker. was my mistake. Yogg is not a mistake. Yeah. I think I... His code gate breaker is, is Faust. Faust. Is Faust yeah. and Parasite. And his Turing breaker is, is, is Parasite David. David. Yeah. yeah, my apologies. There you go. Uh, what uh, rebirth into something. Okay. You rebirth there. A mystery card. All right, we're going to have to ask for people to let us know what he rebirthed into. And we've got here it is Edward Kim. There he is. He got it. He got it. There we go. Edward Kim. All right. Let's see how many times the hammer drops. All right. Looks like Alex and I are on the same wavelength. With this. It makes sense. And then he took off Liberty, so he has enough money to do what he needs to do, it, presumably. Mm -hmm. So I don't. Yeah, I don't think he jammed. Um, he didn't jam. Didn't I think he, no, he, he was probably just testing it. Yeah, so he threw it to CVS. And now it's installed. Oh, oh there he is. Now it's a biotic. And it is 
I'm not sure if he's. Um, he's. You you figure that he's just going to try and uh, buy out a golden mo? It, it's a there's a there's a good possibility for that to happen. He's going to check an HQ. He's going to hit an enigma. He's going to lose a click here. Not too bad. Yeah. The mimic was a more to throw down because he didn't want to see architects firing. But uh, and Andre runs three. There we go. Good and Sonic. Right. Checks on it. Wow. Drawing more. He's drawn. How many cards is he in the deck? He has seen, I think, six. He's lost too early. He's one, two, one, three, scored, four. Scored. Okay, not many. He has one in hand. So five agendas have. Yeah, have yeah. already come up. And Andres with the same the HP blood. Yep. You're used to that HP blood, right? No, no. that would never happen to me. <laughs> uh, Puss is on the table and. Uh, is he going to challenge the remote the old-fashioned way? No, he's, no, going, no, he's going to go in the HQ. Okay. He's going to use yeah. the South Side Slums, he doesn't care. He wants to hit operations here. He wants to be able to hit uh, to biotics, some laterals. It's not a bad deal. That makes a lot of sense. The thing is, he has a, I think he has two chances to hit an agenda. There you go. That's There's one an ABT. Well, actually, I didn't even see that ABT in hand, so... Yep. Oh, and he just drew into one. another one. He has two in hand. This does not look good for Andre. He draws in, draws, and targeted target target marketing. But he can't play that now. There's so many agendas. And he installs to defend, uh, leaving himself. Uh, then Christopher credit. He's got five credits, um, so he could get an entry off the ground. Yeah. So what's that? So I have to draw cards. Looks like he's gonna consider. I was might even consider just contesting uh, uh, R&D again. Well, he doesn't have a good reason to yet. He doesn't have a medium. Well, like a single active. The thing, thing is, if he runs R&D and gets a res there, he can he can uh, quite easily last click, um, run into uh, run into HQ again. If he can get him down from five, he knows that he doesn't have to worry about itchy. Yep. Right. And he knows that he can't both res a CVS. He can't hit him with a big CVS play. Yeah. Um, oh, this is double medium. And Temujin. These are really hard targets to look at. And he's he's gonna be rewarded here. He doesn't have the Temujin in hand. Yeah. So Flick one was the peddler. I think he's looking at installing Temujin. Oh he's just running. He's running. gonna run. He's gonna run. 100%. And he's gonna put out a medium. a medium. Which makes sense to me. Another medium and a Temujin. It's a good so play. A rough peddler. This this is a good play. I like it. He's a vanilla. vanilla. No consequences. All right, so Alex, the rig is looking really good. He's, he's got he's got a lot of what he wants. Uh, his HP is not looking in good shape. And clicks for two. Right, so Alex's decision point. He definitely can just assault Temujin and attempt to go into R&D in here. Can't raise the Topo that's on the inside. Oh, so he's not going to... He's going to be first vanilla. He's a card. Not raising the vanilla. And he doesn't. Oh. There's an architect. And nothing. He does have a fair number of agendas in hand. Maybe he's just yeah. trying to count on, um, on R&D. Mm -hmm. So we're going to build up the counters here. No res again. Seeing three cards. Two. And so he could third. actually be an Ishii. He's going to hit that with Edward Kim. Yeah. Yeah. Just denying all of the econ. It is all an event. And no. Not wow. the Ichi either. Or. Uh, uh, trash uh, that. Lines, free. And uh, blue level clearance. Which can't be trash yet, but probably coming in next turn. So. He can't afford to just. Last clip scenario. Yes, was Hopper. That's really rough. It's, it's really rough. He has, what, I think that's two or three agendas in hand. Yeah. Yep. Got nice archives. The, the thing is, uh, Andre needs to be at eight credits to res the Ichi and use the Cyberdex, which would have been very, which is vital. So we right. might be in a position to actually res R&D Ice now, um, yeah. but there's a lot of value. Yeah. Oh, uh, and the Cyberdex, yeah, that's what, yeah. I think oh, okay. that was a little preemptive. He, yeah. he could have done that on the next, later. The, the next later yeah, on. third run. Uh, the third click run. But also, the concern is also you are losing off RD. Yeah. yeah. So I understand. Yeah. That was. 
That was a big play. Yeah. But this is gonna set Andre really back. He remember, this is not a campaign deck, so this is gonna be pretty brutal. He's gonna draw into a blue level soon, which will get him a little bit what? of money, but more cards than he can handle. Um, I think Andre just ran again last click. Because he had no way to break the EG, he had to click through it, right? No, he ran first click into EG. No, but he, he oh, no, he's pointed RD again. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's going to okay. go into HQ. It makes the most sense to go yeah. HQ here because he can't res the HQ ice. He pointed at, uh, the thing is, he pointed at RD again. Yeah. I guess that's the trouble with the audio, yeah. so it makes it uh, a little bit tough. Yeah. This is three out of five, if I remember seeing correctly. Oh, and that's gonna be Kim. Yep. So that is three events hit by the hammer. Humanity's hammer, doing work. All right. Really unfortunate. Uh, our guys serve a lot of multi-purpose here. He did, he, he got flooded pretty heavily. Mm -hmm. Now that's not, I don't find that normal for this kind of rush deck. The rush deck generally scores the asset, scores the agendas that it sees, you know, if it sees it at a more reasonable pace, but when they're, when they come this, this fast and furious, there's not much you can do. Yeah, it's pretty problematic. And where do you put this? It has to be an R&D. Yeah. He's just yeah. making money back. Yeah. He's making the money back, it's going to make it a net $2 yeah. for the bad pub. Yeah. Looks like I was debating what he's doing right now. Yeah, there you go. Bad no. pub and two dollars. No res. He's gonna get the four here. He's got the medium counter. He's gonna hit the blue level, which we're gonna see. Denying that. And then he's gonna see the turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so turn will be will yeah. definitely be something that helps here. Yes, just making sure that he like. Andre is struggling on money really hard right now, and denying him that Turing is, I'm mean, denying that blue level is pretty big. Yeah, only, uh, so his only answer to Turing on, uh, on R&D would be the Parasite. Yeah. Right. And now he doesn't have the MU to support it, that's also the thing to do. Yeah. Right. Do you see him overriding anything? Oh, no, the, so I'm not there's, sure. a, there's a judge uh, calling in terms of like the, the amount of suck tokens he used. Okay, so game state has been corrected. Cool. All right, so we're going back and forth, and we landed on how many dads are going to shoot it. Uh, I think we've been offered <laughs> several different. Um, I believe there's some confusion over him using a uh, a glass token that he uses for other. Thing, other things as his bad pup token. Clicking for credits. He's the number of times he's clicked for credits at this rate, at this uh, at this time. Uh, he's in a very rough is too damn many. He's frankly, in a very rough position right so I don't see any reason why you don't go into RD right now to see three different unique cards here. I don't see even think you need cards. See more think, money. Uh, he just trash. Why is he drawing? So. There is a tool booth. Do you go bankrupt for having a tool booth? The problem is, I think Andre has to, but like even then, it's not a good choice. Like you hope that yeah. Andre just holds up. Yeah, so I, I guess the draw is actually just making sure that uh, you do have uh, cards mm -hmm. for breaking. Sure. So that, that is definitely a concern. For sure. Oh, in fact, he's making three dollars because he has a link. Yeah. And he goes yeah. bankrupt. No, he has two credits. No, um, no, 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 Andre no, no, no. goes bankrupt. Andre, Andre, goes bankrupt. Andre, goes bankrupt. So Andre is trying to claw out his position. Pretty tough. He's kind of just pitched two cards. Just, I don't think that's too much of an issue. Yeah, that's good. And let's see the same old thing. Yeah, I agree with these decisions. And yet, just a four. four trying to do the mass right Suck a token. Now. And three cards. Yeah. Going to be trashing a bunch of operations here. Oh, there you oh, go. That's one. The run. Run. That's wrong. You need the money. <laughs> oh. See the, another Turing and a Jackson, which she pays to get rid of. Yeah. Yeah. You can't let him see that. 
checking HQ on, on last but is also good too. Uh, well, it depends on whether he's okay with picking whatever card in hand, right? I feel like he doesn't want to ditch the Sports Hall because that's getting him through the Eli for free. Uh, and the oh, Mem Strips is probably important as well. Mem Strips he um, needs because he doesn't have any other MU right now. So this RD is going to be a little bit tough now. Yep. And now they're making sure the track clicks properly. There might have been some mistakes earlier. Sounds good. The advancement tokens make pretty good click trackers. They're pretty good click trackers. Okay, so I'm not sure anybody's using them as advancement tokens anyways. Alright, so we're going to draw in turns. We've got two turns now. Now, also for those, it's, it's actually three Temujin. Temujin is a pretty good card. It's, it's basically... Um, it's the, it's the new Anarch Desperado. I I would definitely spend influence on it. You mean in a future deck? Yeah, in a future yeah. deck. Uh, do you believe? Uh, I mean, this is a little bit early, but do you believe that uh, the Temujin uh, stands to be added to the, the MWO at some point to try and keep it in Crim? I think I think uh, Damon, the big D, still knows what he's doing. So All right, we're gonna trust him. Trust in the D. Oh. It's a lateral that, growth. How, oh wait, because it would have been the second yeah. second operation he hit. We got it. Uh, you, you, I, I don't know what he's going to do to install. So what would he install? Um, he can attend to like install touring. You could put a touring somewhere and then targeted marketing for parasite. Checking the ice, making sure we're okay. I mean, he still has a bad pop. Ice is very difficult. I think maybe a problem that Andre is having is he doesn't have enough assets or upgrades that he needs to put down. Um, the the deck has a number of them, but he he's mistake. not drawing those. He's drawing the agendas. He's drawing the agendas. He's drawing the ice that he can't afford to install at this moment. Because if he installs them, he's holding money. I think there's a mistake drawing here. I think he should have merged. <coughs> Okay. So he's going to gain, gain two just on that. Alright. He could play Hashpoint, but if he plays the Hashpoint, he's going to... Have only Agenda's hand. Alright, two cards and two credits. Oh, we see a uh, paperclip? I think I see a paperclip. Oh, he's going to check HQ now. Curious to see what's going on there. So, Alex seems to be forcing Andre to play a little bit more, like uh, more glaciery food coats. Mm -hmm. um, I think he could just potentially click here. I, he ran this on first click or second click? I don't know. They, stop, they put out the click trackers. Yeah, he just, he just lets them. Use them. Uh, if you're not used to using click trackers, you won't use them. Yep. It is, a, it is something you have to practice, something I wish I could get into the habit of doing. Um, it's I look up to Aaron Jalowski for his incredible uh, commitment to click tracking. It's something that I have tried multiple times, where every time, where multiple months in a row, I put out, you know what, I'm going to put out click trackers, try to remember to use them, and then second turn in, I just completely forget about them. Exactly. Alex often just go eat on here. So he's, he's, he's in no rush. He's yeah. in absolutely no yeah. rush because he knows for Andre. Quinn is remote. Oh. And blackmail. Blackmail in. Got to check it. CBS, we can only do that. There we go. Gonna yeah. Go. That seems seems like a good play. He can't fire it at the opportune moment, but he's not in the money to do that anyways. He's drawing more. Playing a hedge fund. Can he gain CBS? Can he gain the ETF credit to turn? Probably not. All nothing but ice in his hand, I think. Like the marketing. All right. The marketing. What's the call? What does he call? I don't even know what I would call, what I would call. 
a, a fresh Temujin, maybe a black male. E three feedback implants. E three, yeah. yeah, yeah, They know each other's decks, so. though. All right. E three being. And he oh, just draws, and right he just draws into it. What a what a call. <laughs> what a MTG. What an incredible call. <laughs> that, uh, that was pretty like. That was good. That was a good, good call. Oh, he clicks through, tosses the paperclip. Season okay. architect. Live, live to see another day. Do you think Alex feels safe tossing that paper clip? I mean, he must. He is at ten credits, but he I has don't two. Think. He has two of them, so yeah. he has two, and and also he he's knows got that posts. he got. The, he, but yeah. he also knows that um, Andre hasn't drawn into Biotic, hasn't drawn into probably not the Chronos. He hasn't drawn into. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a Chronos. Speaking of. <laughs> Just um, more agendas, because he drew his mandatory draw was a GFI. I think he, he did, is he agendas. just throwing uh, Chronos out into the server just to test him? I think he does. I mean, well, if cause the thing is, it, it will get rid of the target marketing, which sucks. But him scoring the Chronos project does nothing to help him get win win the game. Mm -hmm. right. All right, so we're gonna see. We're gonna see him use the. <coughs> he's uh, the sports hopper to draw here. It's deja, deja vu, deja vu for blackmail, blackmail. blackmail. Got it. and then use it. He's a three. And there's the Kronos. There's the Kronos. Four points. And now E3 can hit the table. I just put the E3 down casually. Yeah. You're like, yeah, no oh, problem. All right, there, there we go. go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Gotta get that money. Yeah. yeah. Another agenda in hand. He just drew into Does he have a hand a entirely of agendas? So he's in the draw. Into the blue level. Which is and he installs an agenda in maybe a play of desperation. Yeah. Andre knows he's he's in a really bad position, so he's, he's you just try stuff. It. You just stuff. There's he's nothing you can do. Uh, he just needs to do it and fire the APT, I guess. Man. It's the mem strips. Slip the strips. For the David. Throw a David out there and just challenge the remote, anyways. Yeah, he can check what, the what keeps him out? Nothing. 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 I think he's not here. Yeah, this is a deck. This is a levyless deck. Um, if he does manage to get an ABT off, he can be quite certain that he won't hit an agenda. I don't know about that. Some some other people today have uh, used that logic to fight the failure. Yeah. Oh, and okay, Turing. you gotta you gotta run the Turing out, and here's and another Turing. Oh, and another another, Turing. yep, double Turing. There you go. Touch a card. Yeah, there it's an go. ABT. There it is. There's six, six points. Six nothing. Or six two rather. My bad. Gotta, no, guys, slip the strips. It's a good card. Yeah. yeah. Does he have another ABT in hand? He's got something in hand. <laughs> I know he's got. I know he's got two GFIs. At least. I don't if, know what else. If he's got an ABT in hand, I think he just plants it. Yeah, and then just hopes. Is it uh, Vitruvius? Service is GFI. Stall, take two credits. And accept that it simply might not work out for him. Like, it, it's fine. Well, There's only one damage counter. Yeah. He, he could, could just spend the turn. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and maybe you do it. Yep. I've seen HP players in this, in this position before, and it feels desperate. Yeah. Um, no. But maybe you, don't even, maybe you don't even need to, because... At most, it's going to get him to four points. Yep. A good ABT would t might turn the game around, but I'm trying to do it, laundry. Then you take Make some money. Maybe Alex thinks there's no way he could have another agenda, and this could be game right here, folks. So he's going to click E3 with the bad pub, and he's going to fetch a card. It's going to be the mimic because you don't need the mimic. And this is a very good chance of being the go. Nationals Henry. winner. There it Whoa. is. <laughs> Redemption bracket again. Yeah. Redemption bracket. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. Good game. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here with Alexander Bradley of Ottawa. Yes. Uh, <laughs> claiming uh, the uh, the national champion of Canada. You are, uh, as I understand it, the first Canadian 
Correct. Canadian national champion. Yes. Congratulations, sir. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, uh, well, well, well deserved. Well fought. An incredible player. Um, so, uh, t talk us through that final game. Uh, so the final game was, I think I, I had a good draw. I think I had him on the back foot the whole time, and he kind of echoed those sentiments as soon as the game ended. Um, uh, and yeah, and it was. Uh, I guess the, the highlight of it for me was he called e three because I played e three against him in the Swiss. <laughs> right? And then my next draw was e three, and then I was like, rude, just just rude. rude. Perfect. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you definitely drew into you drew into your single foul right away, which allowed you to apply. Mm -hmm. Uh, pressure wherever you needed to. Yeah. Um, uh, let's talk about the singleton foul. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, so talk us through uh, how um, your basically your code gate plan. Okay. So uh, my code gate plan uh, was Yogg initially. Yeah. But I never played it, and if I did play it, well, then obviously they never was code gates, and right. it was basically a disaster. Uh, so I was like, okay. Um, I was playing Yogg and Fam to handle Lotus Field as well, which is scary. And then I said, screw it, I'm just going to play one Faust and three Parasites. Right. So right. while I didn't draw any of my Parasites that, that game, those are my own. So it's like I want a Parasite Code Gates and I want to Faust them. Do you ever have, did you run into any any situations where those just didn't show up and a Code Gate locked you out? Uh, I, I was never locked out. Uh, but it was, I did get like the awkward uh, Turing on Archives that I just Temujined. Yeah. And then don't really want to burn a parasite for that because you're like okay you've committed to that server i'll just yeah. go elsewhere uh sure. so it definitely locked me out of 20 credits yeah or i think i had 16, 16 yeah some some something significant at least fair enough um but uh that's that's impressive because i've i've a number of people who have have heard of your list over yeah, yeah. this weekend <laughs> uh see the one post and yeah. and just say that's madness yeah. when i, when um, I sat down and said what what do, you, what do you do with code gates? I don't. I don't do code gates. I. I, I don't it, do it's code literally gates. just to get through Lotus Field, and I'll, I'll. If there's a lot of code gates, what things with code gates is people tend to play high strength code gates and a singleton low strength like Magnet or Enigma. Yeah. So I figured I'd be okay with just parasiting the Enigma. I almost parasited the Magnet. I think in testing, Ooh. and I went and then I read the text and I was like, I can't take it back. So that. Yeah. So Magnet is like my hard stop. Magnet on the remote. That's, that's bad news for me. Right. Yeah. Uh, so then, then that's when you uh, rely on Faust. Okay, yeah. I get it. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that's that's interesting, actually. Because yeah. um, how many magnets are people playing? One. One. So I'll play and one Faust. Deck. Uh, that, that, and I, I, I one. found that interesting. The oh, yeah. room in a 12 influence uh, deck like CTM, that, you know, is looking for tools. Yeah. You ran, you found room for the, uh, the one the magnet. one magnet. You're only wanting one bankers, eh? Right. So basically yeah. that's what happened is I, I, I cut one bankers for the... Uh, like hyperdriver DDoS keyhole cake matchup. So, so, so I cut a bankers for the EBC. Right. And yeah. then I had a floating influence point and I honestly looked at all the cards and some of them were good. Like Yeah. And so I almost played Lotus Field. Right. Which might have I don't know, people might have understood more. But uh, I liked the potential of like magnet pulling a parasite off a of Raven right. before it triggers with BBC, all that kind of jazz. Uh, it never happened. Sure. Yeah. So, uh, so why one bankers rather than just freeing up that influence for other shenanigans? Uh, bankers is really good. It is. If you get bankers in your starting hand, you yeah. just you mostly win. Which is why some people run three. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they just that that that, that whole one. Of, I, like I, I looked at it and I thought, yeah, yeah. why didn't he run like a Sansan -San and also like another yeah. magnet or uh, this or that? But, uh, yeah. but I could have played another Sansan. -San yeah. Instead exactly, of the magnet. Yeah. But um, I was really afraid of Temujin, and actually that's why you'll see like I took out. The pad campaigns right. for pop up windows and a launch campaign. Right. Because the launch campaign I can never advance in my remote and sure. it, it consumes over three turns. Yeah. Uh, and also, yeah. and it will eventually go away. Before. Exactly, exactly. And uh, yeah, so it was the one game I really lost, I was like doing really well. But yeah. on JNet, JNet competitive, someone comes in and he plays security testing, security testing, desperado turn. Like, once I have my two pads out, yeah. and he just clicked for six every turn, so I couldn't hard hitting use him. He yeah. was at 40. I dragged him through like Toe Booth, Turnpike, Turnpike, Resistor, uh, Mumbad Virtual Tour in the bottom at least four separate times, and he was just like, anytime I wasn't threatening anything in the remote, just takes take like eight. Right. So as long as criminals are part of the meta, the uh, the, the horizontal aspect of CTM uh, gets neutered a little bit. Yeah, your, your deck basically has to have or has to be able to do both. Yeah. So like I can I can go out 
if you know I'm playing Wizard or whatever, or someone where I just I just play them all, or I can I can survive on one server, which was I think actually probably the key, because I denied a lot of. Sec, like nobody plays that sec testing. Everyone's oh, I, I, like well, I played against her yesterday, and I found yeah. it very, very difficult to play against. Yeah. Um, I played a, I, I focused a little bit too much on run economy, and you shut me out of it. Mm -hmm. um, um, so uh, I was wondering how useful was turn. Oh, sorry, how many cards I was wondering how useful was turn table over Grimmar during the entire party? Um, turn table, I think, was. I'm trying to think if I got any wins off of it. Um, I like it in theory, I guess, because, I don't know, like, if they, basically, if you have a turntable, they can't really score a GFI first, even if they want to try to rush you out. Like, um, I know, like, that, that jammy, rushy HB, kind of, one of the things they like to do is, like, they'll just try to score a GFI really early if they can, because then they know they can just straight biotic to the win. Right, yeah. yeah. So I had some people do that against me on JNet, and, um, uh, I don't know, between the two, I, I I was playing with Vigil before actually, so I had even like I cut I cut Grimoire and uh, I guess I'm still on the turn table plan. Uh, also because well there's a lot of CTM, there's three breaking news, yeah. and I want to give you like if you take the B news, I'll take the Beal. Right. That's that. Excellent. Like being able to trade back and forth. I think. Yeah. Exactly. Like I think like, they'll give it to you, and then you're like, okay, I'll take that GFI back. Like being able to do that is important. I think. And I think that must yeah. have been a consideration when Aaron decided not to EOI in that. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, when he when he advanced, he used to ask her to score the breaking news. I like, looked at the crowd and I was like, oh, no. Like, everyone, this is where I lose. And he takes the was back. Everyone was expecting the EOI. Yeah. Um, I believe, uh, and this this is like your prayer setting a magnet, yeah. um, Aaron forgot about the bad pub. Right, and I had a lot of resources. Like, exactly. I had the loaded Temujin, I had a Liberty. daily cast, and an Earthrise going. Yeah. So if it would have hit me, then yeah, I tripled and I'm dead in the water for the rest of the time. But, but uh, I'm just saying that at the time when he did the UI, yeah. it had already installed the turn table. Okay, yeah, yeah, it so was that's a worry. Fair. Yeah, yeah, it was a worry. Yeah, exactly. At the time. Yeah. So he he had to, he had to be worried about that, but also saddling you with the tags and uh, mm -hmm. setting you setting you back a little bit yeah. would have would have definitely proved a little bit more difficult than what actually followed. Oh yeah, yeah. I think. Well, I mean, I, it was weird doing for the rest of the game doing all the math without the bad pub. Yeah. Because it's like the first time I've had to consume the bad pub to survive, kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I would assume that most people would just not play the ASI game. Right. Exactly. Except they're just like, well, this is garbage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, are there any uh, um, anything that stood out in your in your decks where you just thought this was the MVP card, or something that you thought if I were to play this tournament again that I would uh, that you'd swap out? Yeah. Um, I'd probably swap the magnet, and I, I literally just put the magnet in last night. Because yeah. I had two bankers, and I was like, and people were talking about the hyperdriver Kate, and I was like, mm, I don't want to lose to that, so I'll put it in. So I'd probably, I don't find something like Swordsman, maybe, maybe Lotus, I don't know. It, it's tough, and I couldn't find something. Yeah. Um, I think the MVP for my NEH deck was uh, Virtual Tour. Okay. Just because, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of shenanigans you can do, and it's not a region, so you can stack them. Yeah. And uh, like for for one, there was one opponent where I played, and I had virtual tour in the server. Pop up window, they didn't run it. So I drew into virtual tour Archangel, and they had like a almost fully loaded liberated. Yeah. So I went second virtual tour, ice the remote. They ran, I bounced the liberated. They kept going, and then it took the minus ten, and it just hard hitting news, and it was over from there. That's yeah. That's brutal. Yeah, that's. <laughs> but you know, it could have been the astro. Yeah. Right. right? And that's sure. the thing. You'll just, you'll just put anything in. Yeah. Right. They and have to hope it's not it's, double. It's that mind game it. of uh, <laughs> how do I how do I play my opponent? How can I yeah. make them act the way that I want them to? Yeah. Um, another consideration, uh, another thing I was wondering about was actually the E three feedback inputs in particular. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, it seems to work with uh, three cards in your deck with okay. the Faust and the Davids. Yeah. The two Davids. Yeah. Um, what was the what was the idea behind the E three? So I, I've played E three in Val for quite some time. Uh, I don't think it's as good now, but I was talking, uh, I think, to uh, Cyber Ewok, I don't know his real name, but uh, on Slack, the, the New Zealand champ, yeah. and I was like, oh, I like send me a CTM list, and he, he had little engines, and he was like, oh, it's Tax Davids, and I was like, mm, like, I remember when I used to play E3, little engine reads, turn your David counter into $5, because you break one, but you break the other with E3, yeah. or sorry, with a bad pub, oh. with a bad pub for $5, <laughs> and so that's really what I was going for. Um, 
it also, I think, dramatically improves your HP matchup because you know you can click it, you can one click and one dollar an HP one point oh, right? Because you have the bad pub. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it just it just breaks buyer rights, which I was kind of expecting a lot of HP and like my games I played were HP, HP, and NH uh, in Swiss. And then uh, I mean there was a lot of HP. Like, yeah. Like like the top uh, the top eight there were four HP I think. Yeah, exactly. And I was like I was very thankful that I brought my three even though I didn't play I didn't get to play them in, in the top eight. Um, all right. I, 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 are there any inspiring words you can offer to the uh, to the, uh, the, 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 the the inspiring netrunners to the uh, the uh, as we call them the fly casuals, the fly uh, casuals in, in, uh, out there hoping to uh, uh, you know aspire to these great heights? Um, I don't know. I guess just like never give up. Trust your instincts and uh, roll a KOS die because that'll get you an agenda every time. Okay. <laughs> um, but <laughs> let's just say I think. I think probably the best way to get practice is either to play against yourself, which is kind of difficult because you know and then you can, but also very good because you can play optimally. Because you'd be like, oh well, what if they somehow knew that I was flooded? Because you know you're flooded, then like would I survive? Or uh, like what I'll do while I'm waiting for a game on, on Jada is I'll just draft starting hands on that runner DB and be like, okay, CTM, these are my five first cards, mandatory, would I keep it? Uh, what are the first reactions I would take? So once you know that, like you kind of know your, your tempo, your pattern that you're going to fall into, and then when you actually play, it's all, it's all natural. Right. So are you saying that you play games against yourself, like at home? At um, I've done a few. Uh, like this summer, when the hot tub was like really popular, I was like testing against myself. Uh, but for this one, it was mostly I played with the guys I came up with, um, and a lot of a lot of hand drafting on, on that RDB. Kind of trying to figure out, like, okay, is three Timogens enough? Like, for one slums, am I gonna find it? Like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, and so the last question uh, we'll ask you today, Big Unit 3000 uh, is asking, what made you go 49 CTM over your earlier 54, 59 build? Oh, my 59 build? Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I already have the title of the Puppet Master, I think. So, yeah. <laughs> no, um, it's the same reason uh, why I didn't play bad campaigns. It just, I didn't want to dirtle right. too hard. I wanted to be a quick, tight, list uh, and I like ain't nobody got time to play Museum of History or a 54 card list when all your stuff is gonna get Timujin sec testing yeah. and then you trash everything and it's just like really bad news. Yeah. Basically that, that one game on JNet put me off of like mega asset spam like completely I was like wow this is terrible and I never want to run into this again. Cool. Well uh, again congratulations on uh, on this trophy you must be uh, a little excited. I'm super excited. Yeah man. I, yeah. You're gonna see a world. You're gonna sit, that's, sit out, uh, sit out the first that's round. That's the plan. Now, the that, now that I have this buy, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, gonna look into it. For well, sure. we'll uh, we'll see you there. Uh, I think that he's coming. Uh, yeah. You're thinking about it. Uh, he's coming. Uh, we got our stream master. Uh, Tra Travis is coming. I'm gonna make it. Um, it's gonna be a party. Oh, Mikhail earlier. Yeah, it'll be. Uh, we're gonna have an executive retreat in that hot tub. Nice. All right. Nice.